Hello everyone, this is Uxal speaking, talking about a single bad day. I think everyone has experienced that in World vs. World there are days which are better and those which are slightly less better. Like when you are ambushed in open space by a single condi thief on a new experimental build you don't know how to play yet. And the thief does totally everything right. And well, you don't. So, stealthed thief out of clans, out of cooldowns, out of everything. Now, at this point, I should have tried to escape the fight. You know, portal disengage. If the thief followed, I would be able to regain some cooldowns and try again. I mean, as they say, third time is the charm, right? But that is kind of the point of the video, to show that the same approach will not work every time. And this fight. Same thief, same irks. But this time we are fighting over a pick and camp. This means that stealth will be a liability in a way, because when the circle gets up, then I will be able to cap it. This is why I focus Supervisor first, to add time constraint upon the fight. What happens then is that enemy uses exactly the same rotation, but I'm slightly luckier. Warden is placed, but not inside the Caltrops dodge. What is very important, the thief plays very differently. On the open space, there was nothing to fight for. As I've got lousy condition clearing, he could simply point me and wait till I'll bleed. Here, what he has to do is try to kill me quite fast. Otherwise, guards will respawn and he will have to take the camp again. Not to mention a Picanite might appear. So note that fighting a thief in this particular scenario is mostly the mind games, not the how do you use your skills, because we are both using the skills similarly. So that was a Condi thief. And now, Condi Mesmer. Well, okay, Condi Mesmer might not be that bad. Condi Perplexity Mesmer. I actually like those one versus one because then I can win if I don't make any mistakes. But yeah, he's supported by the camp and it doesn't seem he will get out of it to face me. I am trying to bait the Mesmer out of the camp, even getting pretty low, but he doesn't follow. Because of what a condition Mesmer is, I couldn't have simply attacked the camp. I can fight and win versus a Confusion Torment class, but not when he has reinforcements. And camp would shred me to pieces if I can't use skills or move. So yeah, at this point I met Condi Fief and Condi Perplexity Mesmer. Then I come to defend the camp and I see a well-known Condi Fief. And I am like, yay, let's defend feedback and stuff. But now there are two thieves, one is power, one is Condi. So a new question appears, can this day get any better? I do not disengage simply because a Dagger Thief will catch me and kill me. At this point disengaging is pointless. Dagger Thief will catch me, besides, I've got a build having quite a nice shutter damage plus torment pressure. So if enemies do not coordinate and guards respawn, I am able to win this fight. By win I mean stall to get some reinforcements. I mean I can't be the only player on this map, can I? Once again, what is important here is not which build counters which. The context of the fight matters. I am able to win, in a way, against two thieves. If it was open space, I would try to escape. And good news, I am not the only player on this map. There are also pick and players. So yeah, I went for a single desperate trap. It failed, because it had to, and then I died. I'm kind of good at dying. So, how to make the day better? Imagine if I met a Condi Fief, a Dagger Fief and a Condi Mesmer all at the same time while I'm attacking their camp. Now this is what makes the day better, right? Let's get it straight. I can't win versus three players and a camp. You have seen me struggle against them earlier. But what I can do is change the battlefield to the one I prefer. Underwater. Most players don't have seagulls or runes. Most don't have ascendant or exotic underwaters. And most don't know how to fight underwater. We have a good beginning already. As enemy thinks that I am kind of slow underwater like on land, he used Thief Elite. So time to stretch them a bit. Mesmer has pretty decent snares underwater and I might be able to catch one of them off guard. Underwater fight has one more specifics. There is no stomping. This means you can rally of the scale underwater. You will see how I do it quite a lot. Now you might say underwater fight is lame. In my opinion, so is absolutely bursty build, or is condition build, or a tank build, or a guild vs guild, or roaming, or I don't know, prior defense. Don't think what is lame and what isn't. Think in what environment you are able to win with the tools you have and enemies you have. As shown in the first fight, the same thief I am able to die to or I can win, depending on the context and environment. It is not a lame thief build. The context defines the fight. So now, a thief has been downed. I am using portal to be able to return to this point to kill the thief, while I am trying to disengage and not die. 
Leaving clones behind means I am able to stop enemy from recovering. Of course enemies could have killed those clones, but it's not that easy to wrap the head around 3D underwater. Arrival of one more enemy forced me to port faster than I wanted to, but I can always heal. And in this particular situation, the enemy thief is finished. And now it is 1 vs 2, Perplexity, Mesmer and Condi Thief, also with confusion. Underwater fighting is actually very difficult, because there is not enough water out there. By this I mean enemies will try not to fight underwater, but to attack from the ground. So you need to lure them underwater to the middle, not get close to the ledges. And because of no stomping, the metagame becomes slightly different. Not only you can swim underwater, but if you come close to an opponent, as most skills are AoE or PBAOE, enemies will hurt the critter you are trying to rally off. Usually, when I'm underwater and expect getting downed, I prepare a portal, but this time it was on cooldown. I imagine there's not many things as frustrating to opponents as enemy who was downed, then rallies and ports away. Now, enemy Mesmer seems to be a clone factory dissipation build. This means that if I kill his clones, I get conditions. Ah, and there is Trident too. End of his conditions underwater. So if I move a lot, he is kind of useless fighting me. They split and I got a thief while Mesmer went on the land. Now, as the Mesmer is not here, I can focus the thief. Even with his condi pressure and confusion, I am able to whittle him down and execute. What is insidious in the build I am using is the fact that, although it is a berserker build, it uses a lot of conditions. Twin sigils of battle combined with shutter might generation means that my condition damage is not zero. With 10 mites I am about 650 condition damage. This means enemies which survive the burst might die to torment. This works perfectly combined with the fact I use mobility as my main defense tool. Short confusion after shutters, some decent torments, a bit of bleeds, kind of works, right? Now, about positioning underwater. I think you see how very important it is. I made a mistake, I didn't watch the ledges. Then I almost made a mistake with scale positioning, but I did port out safely. And the conclusion? No matter how bad a day is, what kind of enemies you meet, there definitely exists a way to do something to make the day better. Thank you for watching, Uxal is out.